Welcome to the second part of my football manager experiment where I swapped the English Barclays Premiership with the Blue Square Premier Division. Um, I've decided to do a part two because it was really popular. I'm really happy with the feedback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go another five seasons and see what happens. Just to recap, um, Man City and Man United and Chelsea all managed to get back up to the Premiership in five seasons. So make sure you watch part one before this so it makes a bit more sense. But yeah, I'm going to holiday it for what will be effectively the sixth season and we shall see what happens. So at the end of the sixth season, Man United won the league, Man City second and whole third the three Champions League places. As I explained in the last video, because the reputation of the league's gone down, there's only three available places now. Man City won it last season, so Man United have regained the title for the first time in, what, eight, well, six seasons, basically. Also, you notice Kidderminster finished fourth. Now, someone pointed out in, out in the last video when they were looking at the, the save game that I put in the video description, um, that Kidderminster have a, a lot of money now um, when they used the uh, editor to see how much money they have. Because here it says they're rich. They've got an estimated value of 95 million now. Although the media pred prediction was only 13th, but they finished 4th. So they spent their money wisely, I, I presume. They spent £55 million. Kidderminster Harriers have spent £55 million. So Kidderminster and Watford finished in the two Europa League places. Relegated Leeds, Burnley and Grimsby. Wrexham survive, as does Cambridge, Luton. So there's four original Blue Square teams still in the Premiership. Stats-wise, highest average rating was Eden Hazard for Chelsea. Top scorer was Pujol for Man City, a regen. Uh, Marin Stanchev for Kidderminster. Charlie Austin for Burnley, although they did get relegated. Duncan Gale and Shane Long. Assists, Wilshire, who's at Man United. Bell Hander, who's at Watford. Adrian for Bolton. Wayne Rooney and Lorenzo Christig for Man United. Great defensive midfielder. In the Championship, Liverpool have been promoted, as have Tottenham, and so did Mansfield. They've got a lot of money as well. I think someone said when they looked on the Football Manager real-time editor, um, they've got £200 million or something ridiculous to spend. Relegated Newport County, Sheffield United and Brentford. In League One, Arsenal are champions of 114 points, and Stoke also got promoted of 102, and Dartford went up in the playoffs. Fending off Nuneaton, Chesterwood and Wokins. So some of the original Blue Square teams are fighting their way back up the league with the extra money they've probably earned from the Premiership in the couple of seasons they were there. In League 2, Southampton were champions of 109 points. Newcastle got promoted and as did Swindon and Plymouth. Going down, Bradford and Cheltenham. Now in the first video I forgot to show sort of points deductions. West Ham went into administration the first season and had points deducted and a few other teams did I think QPR and Everton did a couple of times and in this season QPR went up with 101 points and West Brom went up in the playoffs Everton and Sunderland not doing so good bottom of the original Premiership teams um, I think, will they all go up after these five seasons? we'll have to see relegated Bournemouth, Harrogate, Salisbury and Hyde Interesting to see Darren Bent and Agbon Lahore still playing for Aston Villa, still scoring a lot of goals. Lafondre got a lot of goals for West Brom as well. There's been quite some interesting signings. You should I'll put the save file in the description below again. Because players like Mark Noble play for Kidderminster and Andy Carroll plays for Luton. So there's been some interesting signings. But I think that's it for this first season. So we'll holiday it to the end of the well, sixth season. We'll holiday it to the end of the seventh season now. So we're now at the end of the seventh season and just going back to the 2018 World Cup which Brazil won. Just want to see how England did really. England managed to finish third beating Chile in the third place playoff. So despite half of the team playing in all these other divisions over the years they still managed to finish third in the 2018 World Cup with goals from Jack Wilshere and Stuart Warren a regen for Man City scoring the goals. This is now what the England team looks like. There's a Watford player, Fraser Forster, is at Watford. Hull player with Ross Barkley, Tomins is at Wolves. A Mansfield player, 
Tom Rance uh, regen. And also a Kidderminster player. Nathan Redmond plays for Cardiff. But yeah, you can see that yourself. If we look at the, the View Nation, you can see Hull are fourth on the list of major clubs. Watford are, are sixth now. Major players. Rooney's still top. Then it's Wilshire, Shawcross, Chalaba, Joe Hart and Will Hughes. England are also ranked first in the world. Pretty impressive. But anyhow, this is how the league finished. Man City finished top this time round. Man United second and Hull City finished third. I believe the Champions League places have gone down to two places now with the reputation of the English Premier Division going down to three and a half stars. The national team is flourishing for some reason. Mainly, maybe it somehow benefited the national team having all these smaller teams growing and giving them more money and producing other English talent because maybe English talent has been played more and less foreign players are coming to the league which has benefited, benefited the national team. I don't know if you agree with my hypothesis there. Maybe you can comment in the comment section below. But the league has gone down and there's only two Champions League places. Stats wise, let's have a look. Top scorer, Duncan Gale for Kidderminster. A regen. Uh, Corley Woodrow for Bolton. Tom Runce for Mansfield. Assists, Elliot Bennett for Wolves. Adrian for Bolton. Will Hughes for Man City. We go down to the Championship. Sheffield Wednesday got promoted, winning the league. Forest Green got promoted and Arsenal got promoted in the playoffs. Leeds also qualify for Europe somehow. I think I forgot to look at the Cups last season, so we'll have to look at both seasons when I do the Cups. Millwall, Leicester and Charlton relegated. In League 1, Southampton won the league with 99 points and Nuneaton and Newcastle went up. So some of these Blue Square teams, original Blue Square teams, are actually going up the division. They've gone down, but they're going back up. Maybe... It must be to do with money, simply. We look at Nuneaton quickly. Finances are okay. I mean, I could just go and be manager of one of the teams just to look at the finances, but then it might screw things up, of course. So I can't do that. Their media prediction was first, so I'm presuming they've got a bit of money. And, well, estimated value, 6.25 million. They've got a bit of debt, though, now. Going down from League One was Southport, Crew, Swindon and Sheffield United. What has happened to them? They're going to be playing in League Two next season. In League Two, QPR went up for the second successive season. West Brom went up, Tranmere went up and Portsmouth went up in the playoffs. Good to see them climb in the leagues again if you're a Pompey fan. Leighton Orient went down as did Carlisle. In the Blue Square Premier, Sunderland were champions, five points to the West Ham. Their best season so far, but they lost out in the playoffs against Aston Villa. So the original, the only original Premiership teams left: West Brom, Ev West Ham, sorry, Everton, Norwich, Reading, Fulham, and Wigan, who finished below Exeter. York, Tombridge, Chester, and Accrington were relegated. Darren Bent is still at Aston Villa, but they've gone up this season. He's 35. He got 30 goals. He's got. A hell of a lot of goals in the league every single season. Apart from the that one, which for some reason he didn't play any games. Which is strange, must have been injured. So going on to the Cups. This was last season, Tottenham won it against Chelsea. And this season, Man City beat Leeds. Leeds were runners-up and they qualify for Europe, despite being in the Championship. In the Capital One Cup, last season, Man United beat Nottingham Forest 3-2 in the final. And this season, Luton beat Man United 3-0. Luton have become huge. They've got tons of money. It's the Champions League football. I don't know if their ground's bigger now, but they, they probably had the biggest ground out of the Blue Square teams anyway. Uh, they're secure now. They used to be rich, but they probably spent quite a bit of the money. Um, facilities have got 22,000 seater. That's pretty decent. In the Johnston's Paint Trophy, Newcastle beat Arsenal 2-1 last season. And this season it was Southampton beating Southport 2-1. In the FA Trophy, QPR beat Wigan 2-0 last season. And this season, West Ham won it against Cheltenham 2-1. So that's it for the second season, or the seventh season overall. So we'll go ahead to the eighth season and holiday it to the end. At the end of the eighth season, Hull City have won the league. One point ahead of Man United and Man City. That is pretty incredible. Three places this time for the Champions League. Uh, Chelsea fourth and Liverpool fifth. But look at Arsenal. Relegated 
for the first time since I think like 1912. I'm not quite sure on the date, but it's for over 100 years. Wow, that is a shock. Sheffield Wednesday and Forestry are also going down. Newly promoted Tottenham. Well, they promoted a couple of seasons ago, but they've survived. So, yeah, interesting table. Whole City winning the league. They've become a huge team. Top scorer is Dmitry Sergev. A uh, regen from Ukraine. Looks incredible. And this guy as well for Chelsea. There seems to be a lot of good young English strikers. Assists wise, this guy Pizarro for Luton. And Sergio Aguero, Wilshire. In the Championship, Nottingham Forest are champions with Southampton also going up and Cambridge also going up through the playoffs. 10 points deducted from Hereford and Newcastle. Both went into administration. But they both survived. So despite climbing the divisions, Newcastle have had financial problems. They've got a pretty big loan debt. I mean, the estimated value of the club's definitely gone down. Going up from League 1, Stockport winning the league. And Newport County also going up. And Millwall being relegated to League 2. Doncaster, Leicester, Torquay and Brentford. I mean, Leicester have a bit of money originally at the start of the game. So... Things are just being completely messed up. I mean, it's so interesting to see what's happening. Going up from League 2, Aston Villa won the league, going straight up again. Bristol City also, Crewe and Southport. Sunderland stuck in League 2. Going down from League 2, Hartlepool and Craw. The Blue Square Premier, Norwich and West Ham go up. Eventually, West Ham winning the playoffs. Everton still stuck in the Blue Square Premier. They seem to do reasonably well every season, but they've been in administration, I think, a couple of times. Reading also stuck, as are Fulham and Wigan down there. Probably done the worst out of any of the Premiership teams. Going down, Aldershot, Farnborough, Stalybridge and Bromley. Their FA Cup this year was won by Man United 3-1 against Nottingham Forest, who keep getting to finals despite being in the Championship. And Liverpool won the Capital One Cup 1-0 against Arsenal. The Johnson's Paint Trophy was won by Torquay, beating Sunderland 2-1 in extra time. And the FA Trophy was once again won by West Ham on penalties against Carlisle. Some in interesting transfer um, news with Chalaba going from Hull to Real Madrid for 17.5 million and Raheem Sterling going from Liverpool to Hull City for 14.25 million. So, a couple of interesting signings there. Sterling's not really developed that well. He's only got seven England caps. He's got pace and dribbling, and that's about it. So that's it for the eighth season. And I'm going to holiday it again. So it's now the end of the ninth season. But at the end of the eighth season, England won Euro 2020 with an emphatic 3-0 victory against Italy in the final. Goals from Stuart Warren, Wayne Rooney, and Will Hughes. So my hypothesis about... All, like switching these teams around and it's allowed for more English players to come through and get more chances I think although England do generally turn out pretty decent on the game anyway of the likes of Wilshire and Phil Jones but I feel that they have been given more of a chance despite the Premiership actually decreasing in reputation in the Premiership Man United regained their title of an emphatic 93 points only losing three games. Hull finished second. Hull are just, you know, they've become a huge team. We'll have a little look at them. They've got players like Raja Nengelen, the Belgian play is brilliant. Grant, ha Grant Hanley, pretty good on this game. Sam Jessel, the Liverpool striker, he's pretty good. And also James McCarthy in midfield, excellent central midfielder. The manager's Neil Lennon, and they are classified as rich. So they've got a hell of a lot of money. Estimated value, 391 million. They've got a lot of debt, but they are flying. Man City finished third. Still only three places in the Champions League. And four teams made it into the Europa League. Chelsea, Middlesbrough, Liverpool and Derby County. Southampton relegated along with Watford. They had a, they had a good stint in the Premiership. Of course, they won it in the second season. Was it? Yeah, the second season. And Cambridge also went down. So sad times for Watford. Kidderminster to still survive. Luton as well and Mansfield who are pretty rich. In the Championship, Forest Green have gone up with 100 points, completely destroying everyone. 
Uh, Arsenal finished second, so they got promoted again after getting relegated last season. And Sheffield Wednesday went up in the playoffs. Relegated from the Championship, Barnsley, Newport County and Millwall. In League One, West Brom were champions with 95 points. Peterborough also went up, as did Nuneaton in the playoffs. This time they were successful. Going down, Plymouth, Crewe, Coventry and Birmingham finishing rock bottom. In League Two, West Ham and Norwich, two straight promotions for both of them. West, West Ham champions this time and Notts County and Northampton also going up. So West Ham have overcome administration and are up to League One now. Their finances are OK. Their estimated value has gone really low, 26 million. And they were predicted to finish 19th, but they won the league. Relegated, Rochdale and Leicester. What has happened to Leicester? 10 points deducted as well. They went into administration. That's where they got relegated. They've got a really tiny squad. And oh, they're, just, they're in non-league football now. It's incredible what's happened to them. Their estimated value is really low. In the Blue Square Premier, Everton have at last got promoted. Getting 101 points. Reading were unlucky not to go up. Fulham went up in the playoffs. So Reading, who else? And Wigan are the only two teams, the original Premiership teams, that haven't gone up. Will they go up next year? That will mean all the regular Premiership teams would have gone up if those two manage it. But I'm not so sure because Wigan have become an average Blue Square Bre Bre Premier team. Reading look like they will go up, but it doesn't look good for Wigan. Relegated Eastley, Altrinham, Crawley and Dagenham and Redbridge. Don't know what's happened to Crawley. They had a bit of money and they've flopped. Hull oh, win the FA Cup, 2-0 against Derby. They're flying, like I said earlier. In the League Cup, Derby lost again in a final against Man City. Charlton Athletic won the uh, Johnston's Paint Trophy against Knox County in extra time. And Reading beat Wigan in the English FA Trophy, 2-1. So that's it for the ninth season, I think. And we'll do one more season, the tenth season in total. And then I'll finish it and I will put the save game file in the description below and also the database as well so you can have a go yourself and see how you get on. And you may want to continue from the 10th season onwards and see what happens. So here we are at the end of the 10th season and I've just realised I've forgotten to show all the uh, European results who's won the Champions League and the Europa League for the last four seasons. So I'm going to do them all in one go at the end. Sorry about forgetting. Premiership, 10th season, was won by Manchester City, 85 points. Man United finished second, Hull finished third, and Liverpool finished fourth. And as you can see here, Champions League, we've got four places again. Cardiff, Nottingham Forest and Chelsea all qualified for the Europa League. Relegated Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield Wednesday Middlesbrough and Forest Green. So the remaining... Conference teams, Kidderminster, Luton and Mansfield are the three that have survived after Forest Green got relegated straight away. Just have a quick look at the stats. Duncan Gale, top scorer for Kidderminster, young Englishman. Sergei Eve doing well for Man United again. Welbeck plays for Wolves, he's third top scorer. Will Hughes, he looks, he's just... Seems to be really high every single season. 27 years old now. That is scary seeing someone like him 27 years old. In the championship, Southampton won the league. And Watford and Burnley were also promoted back to the premiership. Dartford, Lincoln and Nuneaton were relegated. But if you look at those teams in the championship. Cambridge, Stoke, Swansea, two premiership teams. Colchester, Stockport, West Brom, a premiership team. Um, Grimsby, Newcastle, Hereford, Macclesfield, Barrow, League One, Rotherham won the league, West, West Ham also promoted for the third successive season and Southport promoted as well. be interesting to see if West Ham can then win the championship and go up again because obviously it took ages to go up and suddenly now they've got three successive promotions. Can they get a fourth? Maybe you can find out yourself if you download the save game. Uh, relegated Charlton, Woken, Tranmere and Southend. Tem Tramworth and Braintree uh, went into administration, so had 10 points deducted. League 2, Everton win the league, promoted again. Plymouth and Sunderland also promoted and Port Vale in the playoffs. 
relegated Morecambe and Torquay. And in the Blue Square Premier, Reading, as pre predicted, went up with 100 points and Bradford in the playoffs. Wigan, the only Premiership team not to go up at any point in the 10 seasons. They've just become a, a mid-table Blue Square Premier team. It's, it's strange. Um, yeah, nothing has happened of any significance to them in the 10 seasons. Their finances are also insecure, so it looks slightly worrying for them. The club's only worth 2.8 million. They're not really going anywhere. And I cannot believe it, Leicester relegated again. What the hell's happened to them? Carlisle had 10 points deducted, so they've got relegated. Leicester, unbelievable what has happened to them. Um, it'd be interesting to see if, if we went further, if they would completely drop out of this. Man City won the FA Cup 2-0 against Man United. Cardiff won the Capital One Cup 2-1 against Derby. Johnston's Pink Trophy, Newport County won 2-0 against Tamworth. And the English FA Trophy, Aldershot won 2-1 against Gateshead. So we move to the Champions League winners and I've obviously I go back all the way to 2017-18. AC Milan beat Barcelona in the final 2-1. Then CSK Moscow beat Juventus 2-1. Then PSG finally won. I think it's third or fourth final for them. They beat Porto on penalties. Juventus then beat Real Madrid 4-1. And lastly, Man United, the first English team to win it for a while, on penalties, a cracking thrill draw against Barcelona. The scorers, Jack Wilshere seems to keep scoring for the Europa League. Galatasaray beat Inter 1-0 in the 2017-18 season. Hull City won the Europa League against Schalke in the next season. Then Bayern Munich won 3-1 against Marseille. Chelsea won the Europa League 1-0 against Napoli. And finally, Lille beat FC 20-2-1. So that is it for this couple of episodes. I don't think I really need to do another one because, well, it's up to you really. But, I mean, you can do that yourselves. I'll put... I've put the save game in the description below and the database. And I'd like to say thank you to Jack Morgan who suggested this idea. Um, so, yeah, it was a brilliant idea. It's a popular idea. And I hope you've all enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you have done so. And leave a comment as well. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe as well. That would be lovely. So thank you for watching, guys. And I shall see you in the next Football Manager experiment.